Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time you're getting it all in the extremely relaxing unpacking. Now this was developed by Witchbeam, published by Humble Games and has a price of Game Pass. As in, there's no price as of this recording but it is on Xbox Game Pass right now so when the going gets tough, the tough gets Game Pass. So you'd think this is a relaxing game, wrong! Unpacking means we need to unpack all of our weapons into hordes of zombie children. But can you justify unpacking your load? Uh, nope, that sounds wrong. Unpacking your weapon on... Ch uh, in you know what? <laughs> Never mind. Um, no, this does exactly what it says on the tin. We enter various rooms and have to place our things from boxes into designated areas. It's honestly, when played legit, one of the most relaxing games you'll ever play. Now as for achievements, the majority are very easy, we just need to place things in certain spots, interact with certain things, but the only one to really look out for is you have to flush the toilet in every year, or every level as it is. So keep a remembrance out for that one, otherwise it's as simple as popping ye or pimple. Now this isn't a full, full walkthrough either, it's rather a sort of quick achievements guide, as all you'd be doing is placing items down, so there's no need for me to be showing you what to do because it's very easy. Um, but basically, as we begin here, if you head down to settings and go down to the accessibility menu, um, choose the item that says allow items anywhere. Now what this will do is basically, uh, like I said, for the, main po po uh, the main point of the game is to grab something from the box and put it in a designated area on shelves etc. But this means you can, uh, you can place the items anywhere, so we just smash them all on the floor to get the game done a lot quicker. Um, put any name that you want in. I'm going to go for Tiny Wiener this time. Definitely a not a true reflection of myself, I promise. Eh, maybe anyway, that's for another video. So, <laughs> as we begin then, I'm only going to be showing you sort of what to do at the beginning. So you just press the A button to um, interact with the boxes and interact with things and pick things up and put things on the floor. So a lot of it will be small little gadgets, a lot of it will be uh, big stuff, but generally... You're looking at roughly around an hour to um, get everything done. If you've checked the item to allow the items anyway, and now we can just smash everything down. And then, as you can see, as soon as you've finished an item, just click on the box and it disappears. So we can press the B button to switch things around if you, if you want. Um, yeah, and then, I mean, later on, well, the later levels will provide you with some incredible... And summer stuff. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Because that would be pervish. If you're perving on a game character, or, you know, thinking about it, shame on you. Right, anyway, we've got two achievements that we can do. Basically, you can't finish a level until you've unpacked everything. Everything in the whole house. So, uh, we've got two achievements that we're going to grab. The first one will basically be uh, unmissable, and that is for grabbing the camera. And it's usually in this last box. Now, what do you need a camera for in a kid's room, hmm? Am I going to have to unload my weapon on you? Uh, and anyway, so <laughs> you can place the camera anywhere, it doesn't matter. That will be fine, you'll grab that achievement. But the Rubik's Cube is the one which I've just placed on the shelf for, you know, finding it easier sake. So before clicking the star on the bottom right hand corner, press the B button on the Rubik's Cube a couple of times to solve that in seconds. Bag yourself a Guinness World Record. And that will be that achievement done. You all, you always know when you've got an achievement as well when that little icon pops up in the bottom left hand corner. So when you've got those two achievements and you've unpacked everything, then you can just click on the star to move the hell on. Look, look at it. It's so nice and tidy. And then of course you would always get an achievement for finishing the level as well. Finally, my own room. Bruh, you got a kid's room. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because a lot of us have childlike behaviors. Still the maturity of a child, I, I bet. I know I do. So we begin in this next room. And what's going to happen is we're going to unpack two specific things in this room. The first one is like a statue. I've put them in the middle of the bed, as you can just see. Uh, again, you can place them anywhere. But it's the statue that I have put in the middle of the bed. The wooden sort of little dude. Now, if you press the B button on him a couple of times, pick him up with the A button, press B on him until he does the um, cringiest dab of the life, which, of course, dabbing was extremely cringy and extremely hateful. Now, just joking, I'm down with the kids, man. So, let us head to the right-hand side, which is the kitchen. So, you press the right bumper or left bumper to go to the next um, room. 
and then basically what we need to do is smash everything out until we see a cookie jar. Now, mine is just on the shelf by the kettle there, and what you need to do when you do eventually get it, and there we go, is pop that cookie jar on the top shelf so your greedy, obese little children can't get their grubby hands on it. Because it's men. I put the cookies, they're men. Not kids, men. So eventually I realise what I'm trying to do. So pick it up again with the A button, head on up, and that will unlock you the A sometimes food achievement. Um, by the way, if you press the right stick up and down, that's where you can sort of move the camera up and down a little bit as well. Right, so now you can um, unpack the bathroom if you want, but basically we now need the toaster. We're going to put that in the bath. We're going to do a bit of um, a bit of suiciding, you know, which kind of gets rid of the unrelaxo. This is very unrelaxo of, of us to do, but... The toaster, remember, is in the first room that we unlocked. Um, again, you could have placed it anywhere, but the toaster is the main one, which should always be unlocked in that room. Um, if not, it'll be somewhere anyway. So just pop that in the bath, run the bath, stick your head in, and, well, I'll see you in the afterlife, I suppose. Also, remember, we're going to be flushing the toilet in every level before we leave, so that is very important. So... Um, what I tend to do is just uh, leave the flush in the toilet till the very end. So unpack everything, get all the miserable achievements, and then flush the toilet. Get rid of your poop stink at the very end. So, there's that one done. Now we are moving on to the next level. And we are heading into... <laughs> private bathroom score. Not if you're leaving it like that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very stinky of us to do. Anyway, welcome to 2007. <clears throat> so, first thing we're going to do, we're going to unpack everything in this first room, the sort of living room, and then eventually we're going to get a GameCube, which I assume they're not trying to make it look like a GameCube, but it is definitely a GameCube. And it should generally be, should always, th the items out of the boxes, I think, should always be in the same place as well. So, we've got the controller, as you can see there, it's, it's kind of a PlayStation GameCube, and that is definitely a Nintendo Wii, not a GameCube. Wink, wink. <laughs> anyway, press, place it down uh, in this um, sort of entertainment cubbyhole bit. Press the B button to turn it on. And we're going to play Cactus Carts, which sounds utterly awful for the GameCube, to be honest. But anyway, that's that. And then you can just finish unpacking, <laughs> unpacking your load. <laughs> It'll never be not funny in this room. Right, so here we are in this um, bedroom. And then what we need to do, basically, we've unpacked this green hat. Now, I've put it on the shelf here, or on the desk, for importance sake. So, after you've um, unpacked everything in the bedroom, grab the green hat that we unpacked, go right once, and then head up, and then just put it on one of these two mannequin heads. Who the hell keeps mannequin heads in their room, or their house, I don't know. Anyway, that unlocks the next achievement, called Hat on Head. Very um, original there, <laughs> for that one. But... Um, right, before we head on and we finish unpacking, remember to go to the toilet and flush the crap out of your Poopenhausen. Make sure it works, otherwise, you know, you're getting all brown water all over the floor and you're stepping it barefoot and... Yeah, it never goes well, that. So, again, always flush the toilet before we leave, otherwise that is golden as nuggets. Right, so, into the next area now. As we progress through the levels, the we've got more stuff to unpack, which is a pain in the ass. But as we begin straight away, if you head down, interact by pressing the B button on this record player right here. The music's going to change. We're going to have a slow dance. But we are going to unlock an achievement. So life is owl good. Owl good, baby. Blash some tunes. That's what every British chav sounds like. Blash some tunes, eh, bruv? Generally, every British Trav sounds like that. I don't know why. It's just the way. It's just the way they are. It's like a. It's like a cult. You can only be a Trav if you talk like this, right? Anyway, um, interact with the top two drawers, and then what we have to do is basically put our underpants um, in a specific. It do doesn't matter the specific color order, but we have to make them nice and tidy. So, um, put everything, you know, facing facing front ways. You know, I mean, if you've got 
particular sort of OCD about these things, then this will come naturally as hell anyway. But you need to grab all the ones from the second drawer, put them in the top drawer as well. Again, the order doesn't matter as long as they're all in line and looking tidy. Who still wears which, what guy, apart from um, those in their 70s and 80s, still wears tighty whities by the way. Surely that's just uncomfortable in the old uh, nut and butter area, do you know what I mean? Anyway, once you've got everything from the second drawer to the top one, you can, everything's looking tidy, you should unlock the tidy whitey achievement. And, yeah, your grandpa will be really happy that you've just unlocked his thong for him. Right, so as we get to the kitchen and we start unlocking some stuff, we need to basically put everything that you need to make a coffee on, on the table. So you've got big jar, looks like protein powder, that one. Um, these two, I'm not, again, not particularly sure what it is. I'm just getting everything that kind of looks coffee related. So you need a coffee mug. You need this coffee bean grinder machine. Um, some spices and some sugar. A kettle. Those creamer things. Maybe some weights to do your drugs and coffee beans on maybe. Bag of coffee beans at the top. Maybe that. Maybe this thing as well. And a coffee mug. Um, but that is what should unlock the achievement. So anything that's coffee related or even if you want to pause the video here Just to see what I've got on there and <laughs> That is what we will do to unlock that and of course just before we leave 2010 then once you've got everything unpacked Obviously, we're gonna nip to the toilet. We're gonna Since that coffee's just hit us hard. We're gonna diarrhea ourselves and flush the toilet remember to get rid of it all so nobody comes in and bees sick right so getting there slowly getting in now right in the next room a shower with a view and that view is my earth which isn't necessarily a good view it didn't say whether it was a good or bad view just my big chunky gut mm -hmm. Wow, what a view. Makes me want to be sick every time I look at myself. Anyway, on to 2012. We're going to get an achievement straight away. This will, your room should look exactly like this. So if you head into this uh, lower bottom cabinet thing, interact with the poster, pop it on the wall, and that is going to get us the Rediscover Childhood achievement. And this is a very short level anyway, so just unpack this room and into your, and the next one as well. It's only this room and a bathroom for some reason. But, for whatever reason, there's no toilet in this one. So, you're probably asking yourself, where are they supposed to whiz and poop? Man, you got stunk, <laughs> you got to stomp those poop nuggets down the shower drain. That is why there is a shower floor like that. So, you can just sort of, you know, use your foot to stamp on your little nuggets. I mean, if you've got milkshake-infused diarrhea, then I guess it makes it easier. But, still, who doesn't have a toilet? My sister and I used to fight over this bathroom. Yeah, you took a shit in the shower, and you left it there. You didn't stomp him down. God damn it. Anyway, right into the next one. Basically, we're going to head into the kitchen, and eventually you're going to unlock these magnets. One, two, three equals and plus. So if you put the one plus two equals three on the left side of the fridge, that is what will get you the achievement, and your math, your math magician brain will be like, Whoa, I'm so math magician right now. So, you will also unlock the microwave, or unpack the microwave. Now, what you have to do is place it directly close to the sink. Um, basically, right at the back, and then when the timer comes on, press the B button a couple of times, and that is yet another missable achievement. Um, tw called 12 o'clock, even though clearly it says like 2.43 on there, so... Yeah, close enough. 12, 2, it's got a 2 in it, isn't it? So, life is good! And then what we could do again, just unpack everything until the bottom right hand side star pops up but of course what we're going to do is this house luckily for us has a bathroom so you can actually flush those uh, nuggets down the drain this time so you don't have to do it in the shower and fight with your sister anymore so make sure to flush the toilet uh, before moving on top job right then so we are coming up Basically, what are, where are we at now? 2013. So we've only got two levels left now. 2015 and 2018 left to go. And the first thing we're going to be doing is getting a green thumb achievement. Now, you see these plants? There are four plants here. All we need to do is put these on any shelf or nightstand, whatever the game will allow us. So I just put these four plants on the right-hand side because they look super pretty. 
and I'm obviously an interior decorator. <laughs> Lol. Net. Head to the right into the bathroom and get this plant and just pop that next to the sink or anywhere like that. Head over to the next one and there is going to be another three plants on this box so just pop that on the nightstand. Again, any nightstand, any shelf, anything like that as long as it's not on the floor. Tidy Bob buff pants. Go to the next one. Now the cactus should already be on your desk. It might not be exactly where it is, but it should be on the desk right here. And then if we head into the next one, the kitchen. Uh, what I do, I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't think you can put it by the microwave, but I just go to the next room, pop it to the living room, and there we go. That's the green thumb achievement. Or if you wanted to get rid of the plants, you can put them in a bong if you want. Weed heads will try anything. I know that. Um, <laughs> not that I'm one myself, of course, but uh, people do anything to get high these days. Sniffing frogs. Uh, you know, licking toads' butts and everything. Anyway, uh, when we get into this bedroom right here, we're going to eventually unpack a pig and a tiger. All we need to do, as soon as that's done, just put the pig and tiger next to each other. And that is going to be the next achievement that we unlock. Arr! Mm, there it is. So, fuzzy friends. Uh, that's nice. I wonder what they do when we're not around. Is that like a kind of Toy Story thing? Maybe the X-rated adult version? Who knows? Uh, hopefully not, because that's weird. So, of course, as you unpack everything, remember to go to the next toilet and give that the flush of death. Uh, do it Again, do it a couple of times so nobody will hear. And hopefully it's not broke, like off Dumb and Dumber, where uh, Jeff Daniels poops his, poops his ass to death and the flush is broken. <laughs> but we need to flush the toilet anyway before we move on, so... With that one done, we've now got two missable achievements left. And the first one we're going to find in the baby's room. Now, this is a long level. This can take about 15 minutes just because there's a lot of rooms. But when we enter the baby's room here, you're going to see these blocks that we can start unpacking, of course. And uh, What we need to do is basically just put it five high. So just stack the blocks uh, one on top of each other. Doesn't matter which order it goes in, as long as it's five in a row, and that is the one that is going to get us the baby builder achievement. You can only build five in a row, and everyone's happy. So that's that one done. And now what you can do is actually just go through each and every room and uh, just unpack literally everything. Or if you wanted to just go ahead and flush the last two toilets, because there are two toilets in this house... Um, then you can go ahead and do that. But I unpack everything first, and then what we do is just go to the two toilet bathrooms. Look how neat and tidy everything is. So there's the one in the main bathroom. So again, give that the good diarrhea flush of life. And then the last one should probably what what looks like a kind of a private bathroom, posh bastards. So give that the flush of life, and then you'll get the achievement called Gotta Flush Them All. And then as soon as you click on the star, that will be the end of the game. So, by the way, the moral of the story is, um, if you live in a small house, just keep moving, and then eventually you'll be in like a mansion type. So, that's a good, good story there from the developers of Unpacking. But, <laughs> that is it then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game, hell of a relaxing game, but I hope the guide helped and that you enjoyed it as well. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. And don't forget to check me out on my, all my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. Big huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are legends and I love you. And big thank you to everyone who continues to interact with me on the daily. Thank you so much again for watching, guys and gals, and I'll see you in the next one. B-b-b-big love.